Hi. It's kind of hard to know what to even call this. It goes along with slope. It's kind of like the introduction into getting ready to working with slope. But we're going to learn how to write equations like this in function form. I'm going to do that at the end of the video. We're also going to learn how to graph equations and come up with tables of ordered pairs or coordinates so that we can put it on a graph. The first thing I want to show you is you're given an equation and they're giving you two ordered pairs here and they want to know if this point lies on this line because this actually does make a line and I'll show you that in just a minute. Alright, so the first number is always the x value in the ordered pair and the second number is the y value. So this is really easy. I'm simply going to substitute x and y in with these numbers. So I'm going to write my 2. I'm going to put a parentheses and now I'm going to put x inside the parentheses, which x is 1. And I'm going to write my minus sign and I'm going to put parentheses for y. y is negative 3 equals 5. Now I'm going to solve that 2 times 1 is 2. And then a minus minus makes that a plus because what's the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3 equals 5. And then 2 plus 3 is 5 equals 5. So this ordered pair would actually lie on the line um, for this equation if you graphed it. So this one would be a yes. So I'll put a yes there. Okay. Now let's try the second one and let's see if it is a solution, if it would lie on this line. Okay, again, x is 4 and y is 7, so I'm going to write 2 times 4 minus 7 equals 5. 2 times 4 is 8, and then minus 7 equals 5. Well, 8 minus 7 is 1, and it, that does not equal 5. So this point, if I graphed it, it would not lie on the line that this equation makes. Okay, so let's look at a really quick graph of this. I'm going to show you how to graph um, a really quick way using what we call function form. Function form means that you want to get this equation where y is by itself and everything else is on the other side of the equal sign. So if I want to get y by itself, I have to move this 2x to the other side. So I'm going to write this for you so you can see this. We're going to do some more function form in a few minutes, but I want to show you how to make tables so that you can graph. All right, so I'm going to take the 2x to the other side. It was positive, so I'm going to subtract it. And then I'm going to bring down my y. This part cancels out. Now the 5 and the 2x are not like terms, so I can't combine them together. And the 5 is positive. I'm just going to scoot it over. Now you can't have a negative in front of a variable. It's not simplified. So I have to get rid of the negative in front of the y. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. And that will give me positive y, which is what I want. And then a negative times a negative is a positive, 2x. And then 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. From here, it would be really simple for me to graph this. I know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This number is the y-intercept. You haven't learned this yet. And then this is the slope, so I go up 2 and over 1. And this would be my line. And the ordered pairs that we just saw, that we just said yes and no to, one of them was 1, negative 3. And we said yes, it lied on this line. So if I went 1 over 1 and then down 3, that would be right there. And that would be a point that lies on this line. And you can come up with a lot of other points that are on this line by plugging in values for x and y into this equation. So let's do that. Let me show you the way that they're going to have you start graphing this. 
So I've got it in function form, which is y equals, so I'm going to write that right here because I need that. Okay, so I'm going to erase all of this, and I'm going to go ahead and erase this because this is the same thing, it's just in the y equals. And so now we're going to make a quick table. We're going to pick values for x. When they first teach you this, they ask you to use these numbers, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then you're going to write your equation, the one that's in function form right here, and you're going to come up with an answer, and then that answer will be the y-coordinate right here. So first I'm going to write my parentheses for my ordered pair. I'm going to move this x value, negative 2, when x is negative 2, I'm going to find out what the missing part is for y. Alright, so I'm going to write y equals, and I'm going to put my 2, and where x is, I'm going to put a parentheses, and I'm going to put this number in, negative 2, minus 5. 2 times 2 is 4, but it's negative 4, minus 5, would give me negative 9. Alright, so I just found an ordered pair. Let's find another one for negative 1. So I've got y equals 2x minus 5. So 2 times negative 1 minus 5, that would be negative 2 minus 5 equals negative 7. So in my x value, the first value is negative 1, y is going to be negative 7. Now let's try 0. Alright, 2 times 0 minus 5, so I take this equation, that equals negative 5, so when x is 0, y is negative 5. Alright, and then the last 2 we've got, 2 times 1 minus 5, that would be 2 minus 5, which equals negative 3. You have to be really careful and be accurate with working with these integers. And then 2 times x, which is going to be 2, minus 5, 4 minus 5, equals negative 1. And my last ordered pair is 2, negative 1. Okay, so if we were going to graph this, I know this is going to be a real primitive graph. So I would have negative 2 and then down to negative 9. Let's say that's here and then negative 1, and then down to negative 7, and then 0, negative 5, and then 1, negative 3, and 2, two negative 1, about right there. And then if I connect all of these dots, this one needs to be scooted up a little bit, then I would have a line, and I have the line for this equation. Let's try a couple more. Okay, in this particular problem, we don't have it in function form. In function form, we want it to be y equals. We want y by itself. So I'm going to move x to the other side. There's my 2y equals negative x plus 6. And now I'm going to get y by itself. The 2 is attached through multiplication. I'm going to do the opposite which is division. I'm going to divide everything by 2 and I get y equals negative x over 2 plus and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now I have this equation written in function form. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to rewrite it up here. And you can think about it as y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. So this is the same as this. I just move the 2 over and put a 1 on top. So 1 half x plus 3. And then you could make a table of values on this and come up with your line. This one's a little bit difficult, so I'm not going to work through this one, but we'll try another one. All right, let's get this equation in function form. We've got to move the x to the other side, so I'm going to take the opposite, which is subtraction. I'm going to drop down my y. I'm going to put the x term first. It's negative 3x, 
and the 5 is positive, so I'm going to write positive 5 or plus 5. And remember, you can't have a negative attached to the y, so now I'm going to make everything opposite by multiplying each term by negative 1. So if I multiply this by negative 1, I get positive y. If I multiply this by negative 1, I get positive 3x. And if I multiply that by 1, I get minus 5. So now we have this equation in function form. So I'm going to erase all this. And we're going to make a table so that we can come up with some coordinates and graph this. But before we do, I'm going to show you another way. This is what you're going to learn next. You can go on ahead and graph this in about three seconds, but they're going to make you learn the harder, the longer method before they show you this shortcut. The 5, the negative 5 means I go down on the y-axis to negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I plot my point. And from there, the 3 in front of the x is actually the slope. 1, 2, 3, I go up 3 and over 1. And here's the line that, whoops, that we are getting ready to find. So now I'm going to show you the longer method. This is how you find that line. So we're going to make a table of values. And I told you they like you to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. We're going to write our function form equation right here. When we have an x and y in the same equation, that gives us an ordered pair, which is a location for a point on your coordinate plane, which we're going to find right here. Okay. So we're going to plug negative 2 in for x. So this means 3 times x, 3 times negative 2. That would be negative 6 and then minus 5. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. So here's my x value, negative 2. It stays the same. And now my y value is negative 11. All right, negative 1 times 3 would be negative 3 minus 5 equals negative 8. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 8. If I use 0, 0 times 3 is 0 minus 5, which is minus 5. So when x is 0, y is negative 5. And then 1, 1 times 3 is 3, minus 5 is negative 2. So 1, negative 2. And then 2 times 3 is 6, minus 5 is 1. Whoops. Got to keep that straight. There's my x value. There's my y value. Now I have my ordered pairs. So let's go back to the black marker. So 1, negative 2 would be right here. And then 2, 1. Let's look at this one. Negative 1, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Probably right there. Okay, and 0, negative 5. Got that one. And then negative 2, 11 would probably be down here. And then 2, 1. I didn't get my line looking too good there. So let me check that. 2 times 3 is 6, minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Yeah, 1, 2, 1 should be somewhere up here. So my line, when you don't have graph paper, you don't always get your line perfect. But there, I adjusted that for you. So what you want to do is check all these points. They should all line up. If you end up with a point over here, then you need to go back and look at the, that particular coordinate because it's not on your line, so you probably solved it wrong. So you have to be real careful when you work with the positive and negative numbers and just make sure that you're very accurate. Okay, so we've worked on changing some equations to function form. Let's do one more. Okay, we're going to change this equation to function form. We've got to move the x to the other side. We want to get y by itself, so it's y equals. So this is a positive 5x, so I'm going to do the opposite. 
drop down my negative 2y. I'm going to write my x term first, which is negative 5x. I'm going to scoot the 6 over. It's positive 6. Now, we've got to get rid of the negative 2 in front of the y. So that's easy. It's attached through multiplication. I'm going to do the opposite, which is division. I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. Alright, so that makes that positive, and that makes that 1, and 1 times the y is y, so we've got y by itself. These two are both negative, so two negatives are even, so that makes this fraction positive, and you're going to leave it just like that, improper. And then 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Okay, so we just wrote this equation in function form. It's pretty easy. Let me show you two other things with graphing. Let's say that you needed to graph y equals 3. There's no x term there. So, this is going to look like we're going to stay on our y axis here and our x axis. So, we're going to go up to 1, 2, 3. I'm going to place a dot here. No matter what x is, y is always going to be 3. So, y is always going to be 3 it's going to run parallel to the x-axis. So this is what the graph of y equals a certain number would look like. It's always going to run parallel to the x-axis. Let's look at another graph. Let's look at one. I'm going to draw it right here. Here's my x-axis and my y-axis. Let's look at the graph of x equals negative 2 and see what that would look like. Okay, so I would go to negative 2 on the x-axis, let's say it's right here, and then no matter what, x is always going to be negative 2. So I'm going to have a vertical line which is going to run parallel to the y-axis, so we have to pretend that I drew this line parallel, I tried. Uh, and then when you're talking about slope, a vertical line it's going to be called undefined. This line where y equals a certain number, it's a flat line, it's parallel to the x-axis, and they're going to say that this line, the slope equals zero. Like I said, this is just kind of the very beginnings of getting into slope, so check out other videos online on slope, and that will be very helpful. And let's do one more. Last one. We have this equation, y equals 2x. If I want to make a table of values, pick my numbers, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, y equals 2x. We'll put that right here. We're going to find our coordinates so that we can graph this. Okay, so if x is negative 2, y would be negative 4. That seemed too easy. 2 times negative 2. Yeah? Okay, if x is negative 1, then y would be negative 2. If x is 0, then y is going to be 0. That one was easy. And if x is 1, then y is going to be 2. And if x is 2, then y is going to be 4. If I was going to graph this really quick, I'm going to start right here. 0, 0 is the origin. I could just graph that point, and then 1, 2 would be about there, and then 2, 4 would be about there, and then negative 1, negative 2, and then negative 2, negative 4. And that's what it looks like. You would have a line that goes through the origin. So, this is the basics of graphing linear functions when you make a table of values for x. You solve for y, it gives you coordinates, which are locations on the line. And um, just be sure to check out my other videos online. Thank you so much for watching.